Hey, it's Ed Connerkey. Welcome back to Connerkey's Corner. On this Connerkey's Corner, I want to talk to you about something that happens every day in my life as a mortgage advisor. And I believe it's the number one mistake consumers make when they are looking to obtain a mortgage. Have it be to get a mortgage to buy a new home or to get a mortgage to refinance their current mortgage on their current home. Undoubtedly, consumers will always ask me, what is your rate? And they are making a big mistake. In fact, they're probably heading down the wrong path that's going to turn out to be a bad financial decision for them. And I'll use an analogy here. You would never think of going into a showroom of a car dealership, pulling aside a car salesperson and saying, I like that car. What's the payment on that car? And just taking the payment and saying, perfect, I'll buy it, right? No, you understand there's a lot more that goes into it. What would be the down payment that would be required to get that monthly payment on that car, right? Is there a deposit that I have to pay up front? What are the taxes that I have to pay, right? What are the title fees that I have to pay? What about licensing fees, dock, prep, freight, right? Any dealer fees that go into that? That's all going to be important for you to make as a decision of what the real cost of getting that monthly payment is, right? Are we in agreement? Then you need to make sure you're doing the same thing when you're shopping for a mortgage. The rate is just one piece of the puzzle. There's another more important because it's upfront, it's immediate, and it's non-tax deductible in most cases, and it's non-refundable. You'll never see this money that you have to pay up front, and that's fees when it comes to getting a mortgage. I jotted down here really quick the most common fees that we see, and most mortgage banks and lenders charge these, but I'm gonna quickly list them off to you to say, these are how many fees can be charged to you, and a lot of times they're charged to you so that they can appease you with that lower interest rate. The fees are application fees, appraisal fees, credit report fees, origination fees, discount points, processing fees, underwriting fees, administrative fees. This is a new one that's come around lately that a lot of banks are using, the administration fee. Tax service fee, funding fee, flood certification fee, and a waiver of escrow fee. Yep. All those fees, you wanna pay all those fees? I'm happy to give you a lower interest rate. But the question is, how long does it take you to get back those upfront fees you paid? So what consumers have to understand is that there's been data around since 1971 and accumulated every year and compiled by Freddie Mac. Freddie Mac being one of the biggest mortgage servicers out there. And what they have come to find out is that the average age a consumer or the average time a consumer stays in a mortgage is only four to seven years. That's right. You may be in that house for 30 years, but you won't be in the mortgage more than four to seven years on average. So let's think about this. Say that you paid 5000 in combination of all those upfront fees that I just mentioned in return to get a lower interest rate that saves you $100 a month, the math on this is simple, that it will take you 50 months over four years just to break even and recoup the upfront money that you paid back. Now, I could argue it's even longer than that because the monthly payment of $100 is tax deductible, so the $100 you're saving, you're losing tax write-off, and the $5,000 that you're paying up front is non-tax deductible in most cases, so it's even a longer break-even. But just we'll use that $5,000 into a hundred fifty month break-even as the number here. So really important for you to understand the big picture of paying upfront fees. I like to talk about this with an analogy that my wife had brought back with her from college where at her sorority house, they used to always say, don't divorce the salt and pepper shakers. When you pass the salt and pepper shakers, make sure you pass them together. Have you ever heard this before? Some people have. And I use this analogy all the time in the mortgage world by saying, don't divorce rate and fees. They have to be in the same sentence together and discussed on the same level. So, Make sure when you're out getting your next mortgage that you're not just focusing on the interest rate, 
you actually should be focusing first on the fees and then the rate because the fees again are automatic, upfront, non-refundable, and non-tax deductible. I'll leave you with this note. I am starting my 29th year of doing mortgages and I've developed, and I don't know anybody else that's doing this, a 100% transparent way to know what your rate and fees are. And we start you at the highest rate with the lowest fees and then start bringing you down to show you what the impact of paying fees is to get a lower interest rate and then looking at that break even and recoup period to see if you're going to be in that mortgage at the time you're going to be paid back. Now what we have to be careful of here is rates are volatile and change a lot. In fact, from November 7th of last year to January 2nd of this year, rates took an incredible fall in a very fast period of time, which prompted people that had just gotten mortgages 60 days before to look at refinancing. Nowhere near that 50 month break even like we talked about. And if they would have paid that 5,000 up front, they would have wasted it because they could have got that same rate for free in that short a period of time. I also have a system in place after you close, I actually track interest rates and email you when it's time for you to look to refinance to get another mortgage again on again, a low, no upfront fee mortgage. So make sure that you understand that one, the devil's in the details, don't focus on rate, focus on rate and fees, and most importantly, like I said to you earlier, don't divorce rate and fees. I hope you enjoyed this Counter Keys Corner. I could talk a lot about this, but it's time to go. Enjoy, hopefully you enjoyed this, and talk to you next time on Counter Keys Money Corner.